Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Sims Maxis Monthly that was just on yesterday where they showed off the new patch coming to the game on the 16th of April. So just coming next week, which is pretty cool. So uh, I guess a few of the notable things was a new career that's coming uh, and there's also some new objects and clothing that goes along with that. Actually, just quickly, I'm editing this video and I need to insert this because I completely forgot about it. So they announced over the next six months, so between now and six months from now, they're going to be releasing one expansion pack, one staff pack, and one game pack. So they've let us know that those things are coming within a six month window. And I, I don't know why I completely forgot about that when I was recording. Uh, but yeah, so that's super exciting. So let me know in the comments down below what you think those three things will be. And also, can I just say, stuff packs are back. My second pet stuff, anyone? But I think the thing I really want to focus on, I'm going to ignore essentially all of that stuff. We're going to be talking about the brand new plain white shelf. That's right. Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, that like right there. I, it's actually incredible that after, what, five years, of, nearly five years of this game being out, we finally have a white shelf, which is like the most basic thing you can buy from Ikea. And The Sims has finally got it, which is like such an improvement in technology and the research and development team has done a fantastic job. No, but anyway, so they get, they go on to talk about this in the stream. So they do a nice like little reveal of it if we hit play and we, we watch along. I'm going to pull the walls up, you know. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what do we have Ooh. here? <laughs> Maybe a month or two ago, we had some of our game changers out here. This uh, guy. We had James Turner, Samaj, everybody's favorite. I think he's in the chat today. I saw him. <laughs> yeah, I was in the chat. Also, uh, he was out can I just say that I, I love how even the... <laughs> <laughs> the sim gurus call me Samaj now. It's just everyone. I don't. I think the only person that hasn't called me that is possibly my mom. So we're gonna have to get on that. And he sat down with sim guru Lindsay. Which, if you want to check out that video, it's gonna be up over that way. Actually, really good video. So sim guru Lindsay, she's general manager of the Sims. Basically, oversees sort of everything going on, all the new stuff coming out for it. Uh, so it was a really good opportunity to actually sit down and interview her, and we were able to get a bunch of questions from you guys uh, and sort of answer the most popular our most common ones that came up. And he took some questions from his fans and followers on Twitter. And one of those was, why don't we have a white version of this shelf? It's a really simple question. And I, it's something that I think takes like about, I, I legitimately want to know because I'd be interested because obviously as for custom content creators and all that, doing a recolor is actually really, really quick. Like it takes us about, I mean, we could make this white shelf maybe in under, I mean, if we're gonna race, oh, maybe I should do that. Oh, that'd be fun. So let's see how long this actually takes me to do a recolor of a shelf. So we're gonna go standalone object recolor. We click on that. I don't know what the shelf is called. It's probably just called something shelf, right? So we're loading, <laughs> loading, come on, faster. But I'm interested because it might be a case of maybe it's just a lot more time consuming to do it, I guess, the official way. If this load wheel didn't take this long. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. So we go shelf. I assume it's called shelf. Uh, this one. Here we go. So we go next. I'll save it to the desktop. I'll say shelf.package. And then we're going to choose, I guess we'll just add a swatch to it. So we'll say add swatch number eight. And we go to texture. We go here and say export the texture also to the desktop. Now I'm going to keep a running timer through this through all the edits. Because obviously if you had to watch me doing it real time, it'd be kind of boring. So, <laughs> okay. So we got our shelf here in Photoshop. So let's just do, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go filter. Actually, you know what? No, not even do that. Probably can just invert the colors. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> I will right, we'll save that. We go back here, we click import on our new texture. We've got a white shelf. We go ahead and save our package. Actually, before we do that, we should probably change this color so it's actually white. You know what? Let's even just remove all the other ones because why not? We don't need the other colors. We've already got those. So the thing is, this takes, I, I get, if I wasn't sort of fumbling around, it'd probably take less than five minutes. Probably, probably way less than that, actually. Now it's not black, it is a white shelf. I'm gonna call it the white shelf it's white and we're gonna go ahead and save that that's why i'm spending more time trying to load the sims 4 than it took me to actually make the item okay so here we are in by the way a fantastic looking house which uh built with simgu romeo but now if we jump into buy mode we go over to here into the buy catalog decoration no it's not decoration it's storage surfaces wow i don't know how to play this game it's surfaces here it is the white shelf look at this 
Uh, this is not a great place to showcase it. There you go, white shelf. Which looks very similar to the one that they did. If we jump over to theirs... Look at that, there's there. Actually, you know what, let me try and get the same angle. If we get the same angle, then we can really compare and contrast. Okay, hang on. Okay, there's mine. I mean, <laughs> that's not mine. <laughs> there's theirs. There's mine, you know? So... I now this is not a this is not a criticism at all. Please, please don't take it that way. I I, I just genuinely want to know how long it actually took them to do that because if it is a process that takes longer than custom content, because obviously that took like two seconds, but I guess we don't really know what goes in behind the scenes. There might be a whole bunch of processes they have to go through to make sure it's all good. They probably have to vet the item to make sure it actually is, you know, it looks right and everything's correct and all that kind of stuff. But for us, it's just as easy as under five minutes to do something like that. And while that's great, that means we can do whatever we want uh, i just personally don't really like using custom content in my builds or in my game well i mean game's not so bad but in builds mostly because if i'm sharing a build especially through the gallery there's not really any way if you're downloading from the gallery to know what custom content i've used unless i guess in the description i'm like go to this page to find out the custom content but it's just this really cumbersome process that i don't really like so whenever they eventually do add these things into the game that we actually really need and really want such as a really simple white shelf like the most basic of items like it's super exciting so i'm actually really happy that it's added in um, and then they go on to tell the story so he talked to Lindsay. Lindsay talked to me i said sure i'm sure we can make that happen i talked to our artist artists made it happen i want to go i think actually that's an important point right there the number of people that have to like you have to talk to in the team to make it happen so i spoke to Lindsay, Lindsay to graham graham to the artist and then like yeah we can do it and then it's, it's so like even just i guess the conversation probably would definitely take up more than five minutes that it took me to just do it full credit to him i'm not going to say his name because he's not a sim guru <laughs> uh but if he's out there and he's listening uh, I shared all of the comments that people were sending my way about this white wall shelf. And he... <laughs> yeah, big shout out to the guy that actually made it happen in the game and actually made the item because it, surprisingly such a small little detail like this is super useful. And that's why we need a white door. Also, can I just say that this whole time, that's all I needed to do. All I had to do was go to the office and be like, hey, we need this. So guys, you can expect me coming by next week with a huge list of things to get done. We're gonna prioritize them, make them happen. Uh, but no, honestly, I think it's really exciting that, like, I, I didn't really expect anything to come out of that specific interview in terms of like feedback to the studio. Cause it was more like an informative video for people watching it rather than a, here's a list of things you guys should do. Although it kind of, I kind of skewed that way a little bit parts of it, especially with colors. I was talking about that. Um, so, but it's, I think it's really exciting to see that they actually really listen to that, especially Lindsay, like going out of her way to make that kind of thing happen. And also it happened so quick because a lot of this stuff, usually like if you ask for something or there's like a request for something, uh, it can be like a bunch of game patches down the line. Like it could be three or four patches out just because of that's the way they queue up what they're working on. So the fact that it came out so soon after that is actually really, really cool. Um, and it's, it's super exciting and I really appreciate it. It was just tickled pink yep. about the excitement <laughs> for it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and set expectations right now. This is the one new color variant coming in this update. Uh, we are not updating a range of objects at this time. At this time is what he said. So he's leaving the door open for us to complain about more stuff. No, not complain. We're going to suggest, we're going to very lightly suggest that we need a plain white door. We need that basic modern door in plain white. That'd be great. Um, yeah, so I guess that's important to note. This is the one color coming in this pack for existing items. Uh, in this, well not pack, in this patch, sorry, free patch for everyone. Uh, there's a lot more information about this patch as well. I did a video with uh, Deligracy where we sort of examine, well not examine, we go through the Maxis Monthly, we talk about everything there, we talk about the new career, we talk about the new objects and the new clothing and all that kind of stuff over on her video. So if you want to check that out, click the link down below. But that's pretty much it for this one. I just really wanted to go through the shelf and I wanted to say big thanks to the team uh, as well for actually listening to you guys, to, to my community, because you guys were able to speak through me to Lindsay and we got something done. So that that really bodes well for the future. So guys, let me know what you want because I'm going to fly out of the studio and be like, oh boy, I got, I got a list of items for you guys to add in. Uh, no, but I, I mean, honestly, anytime I'm there, I'll make sure to bring stuff up. It should just be called the Samaj shelf at this point. 
I'm gonna take credit for it. I'm gonna take 100%, no, I'm not. But it was really good stuff, guys. Thank you so much for all your, all your like feedback and input uh, before I did that video. And then as a group, this is what we can achieve. We can change the game. I'm not the game changer. We're all game, God, that was, that was lame. We're all game changers. It was lame, but you know, it comes from the heart, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.